Bonjour! We are in Paris and I am so excited because we are celebrating our wedding anniversary here and then we're kicking it off. We're going somewhere else. So this is the first vlog, one of two of our anniversary trip. Um, we have a little bit more work stuff going on on this trip. Then we have like relaxing anniversary time, but I'm so excited because I've got some friends in town and we're gonna just go and explore and snap and shoot. And this is Neil's first time in Paris, so it's gonna be really exciting. I'm so excited to be back in Paris. I haven't been here in like three years, so, and that was a short trip too. So I'm excited to be back and explore a little bit more. I love this city, it's beautiful. Every single corner there is like an opportunity for a photo or a beautiful moment, and I'm so excited to show you guys around a little bit in this vlog. We're only here for a few days, so we're just gonna give you a little bit of a taste, and it's gonna be fun. So first, I wanna show you guys our beautiful hotel. We're staying at the Grand Boulevard. It's so gorgeous. This is the front courtyard, and we've got some cute little doggies saying hello. You come in here, and you're in the lobby, which is beautiful. There's plants everywhere, and then they've got this gorgeous courtyard over here. I can't wait to show you guys. Neil's over at the bar, waiting for me. Say hi, Neely! <laughs> so I'm gonna go and join him, but I wanted to quickly show you guys around here. They've got the cutest little reception takes. And I'm here. <laughs> and this is today's outfit of the day. I'm wearing a cute little red blazer, and I've got these little paper bake shorts. I've posted these on the blog, so I'll put the link down below if you wanna grab all these things. Um, and then I'm just wearing some like really comfortable Chuck Taylor Converse sneakers today. Just a little walking. I got my Chanel bag and some sunnies. And yeah, just like nice, casual, Parisian cool. And behind me is the beautiful um, courtyard in our hotel. So gorgeous and well lit. So I absolutely love it here. This is a perfect little mirror selfie for an office shoot. This is the cute little breakfast station here. So you get like yogurts, there's salmon, there's fruit, some little pastries over here. Is that salsa? I don't know if that's salsa or breakfast burritos, because if that's it, then I would want that. Um, like some banana breads, so cute, adorable. And this is the rest of the restaurant over here. So now we're gonna go meet Nastasia at Cafe de Flor, and we're gonna go shoot around the city. She just moved here and we're so excited to meet up with her and she's gonna show us around we're gonna go take some fun snaps and just have a really fun day it was really hot yesterday so today will be nice there's a little bit more of a breeze i know these are just little details that probably i only care about but <laughs> look at how cute came with some chocolate i think these are sugars oh i just love the little details now neil's gonna pour his coffee pour it up pour it up ready oh baby yeah. So beautiful here. I just love the little details. Look at the napkins. I don't know. This is just the stuff that I so appreciate in oh. life. <gasps> yes. What a nice pour. Okay. Take a sip. Beautiful. <laughs> now we just need food. Now we need some food. <laughs> lunch is served. This is basically breakfast and lunch for us today. So we got club sandwiches, Neil got coffee, and he said it's like the best coffee he's ever had. So good. And I just ordered some iced tea, we got some Evian, it's perfect. The weather is amazing, and now we're gonna dig in. So, bon appetit. Pretty. We're just obsessed. So we're leaving the cafe and Nastasia over there is just getting some photos taken. Neil's helping her get some shots. We got some cute stuff in front of here. If you want like a really cute photo opportunity, definitely come here and the club sandwich was delish. So now we're gonna keep walking around Saint-Germain and exploring. 
Literally just walking through the streets, every single corner is so pretty. Look at this cute cafe here with the stripes. How adorable is this? So charming. So, Nastasia, you're taking me to the cliche? Uh, yes, we are going to the cliche tea shop in Macaroon. How do you pronounce it? Ladre. Ladre? Ladre. Oh, Ladre. 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 I'm not good at the French. Are we allowed to? No, I can't do that. So, there's one on Champs Elysees, and I've ate there before, but this one is a nice little treat. It's like more hidden. Look at that wallpaper. I love that. to come to Place de Vouche and it's this beautiful park. Look at these amazing little fountains. So if you're just chilling out and want to come here and bring a book and just hang out, it's like the perfect spot because it's so relaxing. Everyone's like having a little picnic out here. I got changed because I wanted to shoot some more outfit shots and look how pretty. It's kind of like, feels like the little central park of Paris. So yeah, and it's like really nice and calm and chill, um, kind of like in between spot right before dinner. I think it's like six o'clock right now. So this is like the perfect time. It has like the most beautiful light. Somewhere in between our secrets, there's an imminent storm. It's unavoidable, yeah. But as long as I feel that you see me, I will pay no mind, pay no mind at all. So give me a chance to make it right. So we just got to Pink Mama and it is the cutest Italian restaurant. It's all pink on the outside and inside it's like a garden. And there's so many steps to go up. I'm going to show you guys the hallway downstairs and we're going to order. It's going to be so much fun. Look at the little napkin detail. I feel like France has just got their napkin game on point on this trip. Look at this. Call me mama. We just ordered lunch and now the queen, she is creating the flat lay. Look at this. I'm just getting her in motion right now. And Neil and I are just watching and learning. <laughs> She's the real pro. No, no, I'm not. I have no idea what I'm doing. Yes. She's too humble. She's too humble. Look at this. Yummy! Oh my gosh, look at these cocktails. <gasps> so what did you get to drink, I Nastasia? I got a mojito. Ooh! Yes. It's like strawberry. Strawberry. <laughs> Delicious. Cheers! It's 12, but it's 5 o'clock somewhere. Yeah! <laughs> Salute! <laughs> and what did you get, Neil? Whiskey sour. Ooh, that looks yeah. so good. And there's like a cherry on it. Mm -hmm. And then I just got some ginger beer. I'm boring. And <laughs> we got all this yummy food, so we're gonna dig in. It's Nastasia's birthday tomorrow, so we are treating her to some tiramisu here, you know? It's so good, it's my favorite. <laughs> it's so good. They like dolloped it right out of the, of the pan. Amazing. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these espressos. Oh my goodness. So yummy. Beautiful. We're gonna wake Neil up. He's yes. tired. <laughs> so we just finished lunch and now we are going to walk around. We just walked a bunch so we could get this view right here behind me. You guys might not even be able to hear me because there's so much construction happening. But the street is called Rue de la Universite. This number right here. You wanna get this shot? So if you want to get the shot, this is the street. And you're going to get like the best little shot of the Eiffel Tower popping out. So cute. So we got a shot. Yeah. We did a little shoot. I think everyone got the same idea because everyone started stopping and realizing the Eiffel Tower is here. And then it's just all about patience. You just got to have patience. Yeah. So now we're just getting a little bit closer to it. And Neil's going to insert some B-roll now.
tonight here and we actually have not gone out for dinner in this beautiful courtyard. So we are actually gonna go and grab a bite and then just kind of chill out, pack, and get ready for our next destination. We're really excited, but let's go. I feel like we were on a real date tonight yeah. because- We haven't ate at our hotel yet. I know, but also because you were still getting ready and I went down to get the table, so yes. I feel like I was waiting for a hot date. I know, right? And look, he I doesn't disappoint. I'd be like, hey, what's your name? Can I join you? I know. I have no pickup lines. That'd be terrible. If I was single today, I'd have no pickup lines. It's not happening, oh, ladies. It's not happening. So we are going to have dinner. I hope you guys can hear me because it's really loud in here. Everyone's doing their drinks and it's super cute. Uh, everyone's dressed so nice. I know. You got to dress cute. Beautiful people. So we are going to have a little dinner here and then maybe go up there is a little rooftop patio. So we can go and check that out afterwards. But first, let's get some food in our bellies. While we wait to get served, I'm gonna ask Neil some tough questions about marriage and what he's learned in the past two years. What have you learned in the past two years, Neil? What have I learned? Oh my gosh. Uh, I've learned that marriage uh, is hard work. I think marriage is hard work. I think that you have to work at it daily. You have to choose each other every single day. I know that sounds cliche, but it is true every morning. Yep. You have to serve one another uh, from morning to night. Be there for each other, support one another, love each other, respect one another. And um, if you have a strong marriage, it will spill into the rest of your life. If you have a great relationship with your spouse, chances are you're going to leave the, the day. You're going to start the day very happy. <laughs> it's going to spill into your workplace. You're going to treat others better. Um, and it all starts in your home. Yeah. Just treat your kids better. We don't have kids, but absolutely. And God willing, when we have kids again, that will be a new learning experience. But I'd say the thing, or the most important thing that I've learned in uh, two years of marriage, is when you have a strong marriage, it's going to spread to the rest of your life. And, it's true. Uh, yeah, I think I think that's a good great. answer. It is oh pretty good, right? God, just gonna put me on the spot now. Now I have to answer this. Yes. Let me hold the camera. Here we go. Now, okay. All right. Uh, okay. I totally agree. So yes. I want to say copy and paste. Yes. Everything else said. And I think it's really important to communicate your appreciation for each other. Yeah. Neil and I work together. We live together. And I think it's just so important just to say thank you. Thank you for cleaning the dishes. Or thank you for making dinner. Like, I think we can get so used to living with a you know, person and then you forget to just say thank you for doing certain things. And I think just really appreciating each other, being grateful for one another is so important every single day. No matter if you've had a bad day together, a good day, just be grateful. Never go to sleep angry. I don't think we like ever do that. Yeah. We're like stuck to each other always. <laughs> each other's faces. So you can't yeah. be angry at each other. Um, and forgiveness and love. You know, life is short and we are here to continuously pass on grace and forgiveness to one another. And I'm so thankful for the forgiveness and grace Neil has given me in our marriage. And, you know, we're not perfect people. But, yeah, I think those are just really important lessons. But you said it good. I feel like you just preached and I just have nothing else to say but just put water in my mouth. <laughs> no, that was a great answer. I, I agree 100%. 100%. So, it's been good. We have so much to learn. We've been together for 10 years, even though we've been married yes. for two. Yes. So I feel like we still have so much to learn. Absolutely. But I'm excited. I'm excited to see as it grows and it just gets sweeter and sweeter. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's all I got to say for now, folks. Good answer. We'll have to be back on our 10th wedding anniversary <laughs> for more wisdom. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think you learn more every year uh, about each other. Yeah, and uh, generally from what uh, we've heard from other married I'm couples. I'm this around so they can oh. see you when you talk. I was saying, generally it gets easier as you get to know each other more, uh, living with each other more. Um, marriage is always hard work, but from the couples that we know, that we love and look up to, that are married, um, a lot of them always agree that the first few years of marriage is very tough. Um, yep. It's 
getting used to one another uh, in a multitude of ways, especially if you've uh, never lived together, you're yep. starting a brand new life, there are assets like Neil and I never and lived together. Homes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So there's a multitude of different things and yep. moving parts in a marriage that it takes a very long time, uh, at least for the first few years, a lot of our friends that are married or family that are married can attest to the fact that marriage in its first few years is uh, it's hard work. Yep. And then it's all uh, the fruits from that labor that just they bear fruit and it's a beautiful marriage. Totally. And it's how you deal with conflict or issues if you like swipe under everything underneath the rug. Nothing gets, you know, resolved and nothing yeah. ever really, you know, so I feel like it's so important just to like have those tough conversations at the beginning, right whenever you feel something, just communicate. Communication, I know like everybody says this, but it is so true. And anyways, we're probably just rambling now because we are hungry, so we're gonna get food in us before we keep babbling and yeah. pretending like we're marriage experts, but. <laughs> we need to see our waiter. We need to see our waiter, yes. We so far we have water. But I think I'm actually like. Oh my gosh, you totally match. They probably think a waiter's just sitting here having dinner with me, to trying to hit on me. I love it. All right, let's order some food. The courtyard windows are opening up. So cool. We get more fresh air in here. I'm getting what Neil usually always gets, which is steak, and he's getting what I always get, which is pasta. So we're just like switching up the rules here. And yeah. Bon appetit! And we are on the rooftop now. We just yeah. finished dinner and we thought that this would be a good time to end the vlog. So yeah. far because Neil's taller than me yeah. and it's like, how do we both get Let our me, hands uh, in here? Let <laughs> me bend down, yeah. Um, so we gotta pack because we yes. are going to another destination. But we hope that you enjoyed this vlog. Yeah. We hope that it inspired you a little bit. But we had so much fun creating this vlog for you guys yeah and zipping around town it was definitely a little bit more hectic and busy and more work focused so we actually have to pack for our next destination yeah. we're going to Croatia yeah, yeah first time I know so it's our first nice. time so excited to go there and just slow things down Paris was a little bit hectic so it would be nice to just slow things down so it's a good time to end the vlog here yes and we will see you in the next one yes. in Croatia so stay tuned for that Leave us a like if you enjoyed this video, and if yes. you really liked it, make sure you go and subscribe. Hit comment, that button. Hit that button. Hit those buttons. Click, 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 <laughs> click, and comment, and we will see you soon. Yes. Au revoir. Bye, guys. Hanging up to see if you would call me. I miss you more when you seem too far away. And you can blame it on.